In 1960, Sir Frank McFarlane Burnett was awarded the Nobel Prize for his contribution to the field of immunology. Burnett's clonal selection theory revolutionized our understanding of the immune system. To this day, Burnett's research remains the foundation of the way we think about disease and how the body responds to it. Clonal selection is the central mechanism by which your body fights infection. The following visualization presents clonal selection during an infection by strep throat bacteria. This patient has a strep bacterial infection causing a red, sore, pussy throat. The tiny round strep bacteria thrive on throat tissue. The bacteria are coated with hairs called M protein. M protein is what your body recognizes to be foreign. In response, your body will launch an immune attack against it. Your lymphatic network is an important part of the immune system, detecting any infections that arise in your body. The M protein hairs drain into the lymphatic system around this patient's neck. The lymph node is crammed full of B cells. B cells are guardians of your immune system, scanning the body for foreign material. Arriving at the lymph node are M protein hairs from the bacteria. Your body contains billions of B cells. Each B cell is unique and is sensitive to only one kind of foreign infection. By chance, one B cell is sensitive to the M protein hairs from the bacteria. This is the molecular surface of that B cell, magnified 10 million times. Its surface is covered with receptors that recognize M protein. The receptors grab onto the M protein hairs. This triggers an activation signal to travel into the cell. The activated B cell migrates and begins to replicate. In a few days, thousands of copies of the selected cell are made. This is the central idea in Burnett's clonal selection theory, where one cell is selected out of billions of B cells and identical clones have been created from it. Therefore, the cell is clonally selected. This creates an army of B cells that mass produce M protein antibodies and release them into the surrounding fluid. The antibodies circulate in the blood and travel into tissues. They bind to the M protein hairs on the strep bacteria. This flags them for destruction by the immune system. Other immune cells ingest the antibody-covered bacteria. They destroy the bacteria and eliminate the infection. 